What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. What's up guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right, every week me and Sharice are giving you guys those awesome tips, tricks, and things that'll hopefully ignite those, you know, Diminish flames or hopefully take your relationship to a whole new level of enlightenment and better, right? You want to be better. So we're trying to get you guys there. So each week we're going to go in depth in some of these tips or tricks or some of the things that will help you guys. And maybe you're not in a relationship right now, but it will help you in your future relationship. And hopefully you guys will be successful in the future. So this week we want to cover communication. Now, technically, we cover this in every single episode. This is true. We bring up the word communication at least once. I could probably go back in every episode and bring it up. Absolutely. But communication is key, right? It's like one of the most important things in a relationship outside of probably, you know, what? We'll just call it sex. and Love relationship, business relationship, <laughs> and life, your kids, whoever you're talking to, your work, whatever it is, communication is key yes. and vital. And the way that you communicate is another big a big way that you know if they're gonna be able to hear what you're saying or listen to what you're saying that's a whole different thing right because you know you might be in the situation where you're starting to tell somebody something and it's just falling on deaf ears you tell them over and over and over and they just don't get the hint or don't get the point or just keep doing what you told them you really don't like them to do right or what you want to do, possibly. Yeah, or yeah, it's, it could be the other way around. It could, it could be, be like even yeah. something like, or maybe you're trying to get something out of them and they're not talking to you. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's, why, why aren't you talking to me? Or you might say everything's just fine. And we all know it's not fine when you're, you know, acting weird. And have, a lot of people have a different way of communicating to people, right? Where some people would want to just talk to them briefly. Some people, they sugarcoat things and kind of go around the subjects to maybe bring it out of the other person. Some people yell at people, and they think that that's going to get their point across even more, too, as well. Um, you know, there's another couple of different ways you can do it where you can text somebody or you can write them a personal letter. I think, honestly, I do the letter thing still, right? So, you know, whether it's good or bad, right? Because even good things, if you want to communicate good things, you could tell somebody that you love them. I love you every day. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. You know, you're my world, blah, 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 blah. Right. But when you write it in a piece of paper, I feel like even just like reading it, right? Yep. And just kind of even reading it to yourself or reading out aloud to yourself, it just kind of hits you in a different spot, right? So the same thing goes for if you're having issues with your significant other, right? And you're trying to get your point across and they're just not understanding. Or maybe they're only listening to a quarter of what you're saying. Mm -hmm. If you give them a letter, majority of the time, guys, people don't do this thing where they like read like five words and then skip five words and then read five words and skip five words. They're going to read it all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Usually mm -hmm. most people do anyway. So they're going to read it and hopefully maybe without you, maybe, maybe you, let's just call it what it is. Maybe you've just been yapping so much that it really is just falling on deaf ears. So at this point, maybe they actually will process what you're trying to say because they're reading it and they're like, okay, well maybe, maybe it comes across differently. Even some people, cause this took me a long time. This took me probably I want to say almost 10 years, right? So, for 14, 15, yeah, about 10 years. It took me about 10 years to come to a point with John, right, <laughs> where I didn't talk a certain way when I was, like, upset about something or if something bothered me, right? I, I so, when he first met me, I'm telling you, I was so quick to fly off the handle. It didn't, it didn't matter what it was. It was just, like, zero to a million, not even zero to a hundred. Zero to a million, you had no chance to speak at all, and it would just be like, rah, blah, 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 blah. And it would be like, he'd be like, hold up, hold up. Up. Hold up. First of all, first you need to calm down, yeah. okay? Yeah. So let's let's have you calm down. And then after you calm down, then we can talk. And I'm just <laughs> That's all you'd hear, right? I'm, I'm actually talking, but this is all he hears. All he hears is he didn't hear you know what i was really upset about this 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 and this and i was mad and he's not hearing any of that all he's hearing is just screaming so i have come to a point in the relationship where i've 
know how to speak to my husband for the majority of the time anyway, unless I'm just way off the handle, which is like once a year, you know, it's not that bad. But, you know, I, I really think that letters like hit home. I do. Because you can kind of maybe even something you weren't able to speak speak to Mm -hmm. like say to their face Mm because sometimes not to say that people don't have the you know the guts to do it but sometimes you may not have the guts to say something to somebody's face so then you put in a letter not to say that that makes you any lesser or weaker of an individual but maybe maybe you need to write it down right write it down and give it to them and put just honestly, guys, please don't make it awkward and like hand them a letter in like an envelope or something while you sit there and watch them read it because that is read so this. awkward. OK, don't do that. Hey, warning. Do not sit there and watch them read the letter. OK, that is so awkward. OK, awkward, <laughs> awkward, for sure. awkward. Um, but anyways, just leave it somewhere where you know that they're going to see it after you are gone (laughs) literally make sure you are like going to work or you are leaving the house to go shopping or you're going to the grocery store or you're going somewhere where they can read it alone right so guys i mean think about what what, they got to brush their teeth they got to put on deodorant john's got to put on his jewelry i mean there's a lot of places you can put this thing that he's gonna find it or she's going to find it at some point in time in that little window of you being gone yeah for sure. I agree. I 100%. And like Sharice said, I mean, it could be good things and bad things and or bad things, I should say. Because, I mean, you just don't want it to be every time there's a problem. I mean, obviously you want to talk about it, right? And, and get it cleared up, whatever the issue is. So you guys can both move on and everybody's over the issue. Uh, but the good things, too, as well. So not every time they see a letter, it's going to be, oh, my God, what do I do now? Not the letter. Right? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I can always tell if I'm going to be in trouble by the way Sharice tells me something. Like, you know, I, I need to talk to you now. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Like, this is, what, what's going on now? Like, yeah, it's, you know? not, it's not, hey, can I talk to you real quick? It's, I need to speak with you. Yeah, now. 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 So that, that's another one. But, you know, Sharice has definitely let me, like, you know, letters in the bathroom, uh, you know, I love you, or, you know, it's, you know, little love notes and stuff like that, which are awesome, right? Because people like that, too, and, and that builds spirit, builds morale. You know, it's more of a bonding thing, too. It brings you closer to that person, I think. But, uh, you know, I think the communication is key. And um, when there is an issue, and let's say you've said it over and over and over, you've told somebody three or four times you didn't want to do this or you did want to do something, whatever it is, right? Because there's a whole bunch of different issues that you guys could be bringing up. And it affects you in different ways, right? But at that point, like, you should definitely be able to talk to them. And if you're getting in front of somebody, and like Sheree said, you just can't break it down or you just can't bring yourself to tell them, Mm -hmm. then you definitely need to write them a note, write them a text message, something out there um, where you can communicate it to them and they can read it in their own style and at their own pace and maybe absorb it that way. Um, and like Sri said, like, you know, stick to the points, right? Don't go off and start going into all these different circles <laughs> in other areas. Just there, and, there's a five page letter in the reading. You're mad about one thing and then it goes into like five other things that are just totally off point. Um, you know, people's tension spans, the tension spans are small, right? It's limited. And that's everybody out there. I don't care yeah. who you are. <laughs> and the younger you are, they say the, you know, the less time shorter, you have, the, the yeah, shorter, shorter time, the time you have span. is your tension span. So... You know, with your kids and stuff like that, you got to communicate a little bit faster, right? More to the point. Get to the point. What's what? What is the point of your conversation? I say that all the time. <laughs> John used to do this to me all the time. Going on, I'm like, all right, so. All right, he, let's get to the point, right? All right let, come on. He's like, and then I would get mad at him because I'm like, you're not listening to me. And he's like, I've been listening to you for literally 20 minutes, yeah. okay? He's like, and I just, all I'm asking is for you to just get to the point. Like, what are you mad about? What's the issue? What are we trying to accomplish <laughs> this here? Is, this, I, this, is, this is not now. This is definitely back then. Yeah, for sure. Now I, I really am like to the point like, hey, let's talk real quick. And you know, it's because I'm either tired yeah. or busy. Yeah. So this has been great for our relationship being busy you but know, and I, I think, don't do it don't I, drag it I out I think uh, yeah don't try to drag it out right because like I said tension spans and you know at that point once you guys kind of find what works for you guys communication wise you guys will be able to utilize that in the future and then whatever issues come up or good things or whatever it is you guys can communicate this way and it, it, it's it's good on both sides right um, because the yelling is not going to do it, all right? People get upset. I understand why you, you get to the point where you yell, you're frustrated, and you think that this is the only way or 
they won't eat talk and they're talking over you and you have to go up a level higher in your voice and they do the exact same and then just gets to a screaming match and then where have you guys gotten now you guys are in this big old fight that could be over this little thing that could have been you know talked about and accomplished and communicated about very easily and simply and you guys move on with your day without this dragged out dramatics okay because <laughs> listen some people like dramatics and drama and all that oh, i don't that. so i'm, I'm just like listen whatever it is like i just don't want any drama what can i do to fix this situation or what did i do wrong so i can learn from a mistake but some people they just don't they don't get it or they just don't want to hear it that's another side mm. of it your partner's got to want to hear it too yeah true because if they don't they're just like oh whatever screw you i'm out the door and then they leave like you haven't communicated your point like they won't do it you try to send them a text message oh whatever they send you back like it, you, then you feel really frustrated because you've tried to verbally communicate to them you've wrote, wrote written them a text message or maybe even a letter and you know letters they didn't respond to you whatever it may be so i mean it's got to be on their side too as well like when you do communicate to somebody they got to want to be able to accept what you're what you're telling them yeah um and not just push it off too as well and if they're not then listen, you guys need to work on whatever it is, why they're not doing that. And if that doesn't come around... Then, you know, maybe it ain't going to work Then it might not be a good fit anymore. But you at know? least try. But you definitely got to try. And the only way that you get these points across and that you try your best is when you communicate. Because if you hold it in and you don't tell them, they're you not going to be able to read your up. mind. You like bottle a little, up. little baby genie. Frustration. And then all <laughs> of a sudden, after the littlest thing they do... <laughs> yeah, it, it's a nuclear explosion, dude. And then you're going at them at like 12 different ways of why you're upset. And, why and you're then you're like, mad. what? And you got your partner over here like, you're like what? I thought I, you were just mad about the laundry. Yeah, like, what, all of a sudden where's it's all like, this coming from? And you did this and you did that. And, you know, a week ago and I didn't like that. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's take this back to the laundry. Like, why didn't you tell me? Well, I did try to tell you. That, that's the thing. So, yeah. you know, make sure you make it a point. To tell your partner, hey, listen, this is important to me. I need you to listen to me. And at that point, they should want to sit down and be like, all right, what's going on? Um, and then get to the point. Like I said, don't don't just do dramatics. Don't bring up all this other stuff. Get to the point at what you want to do. And then find out what you guys can do to get over the problem issue or whatever the communication is and move on so you guys can have success in your relationship. Yes. I think that's key. So communication is key. Communicate. 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 Try communicate. different ways of communication if you need to. Verbal communication might not always work. You can make a video and leave it to them or send it to them on their phone. You can text them. You can write them a Be personal Be easy message. with those text messages, guys. Yeah. Because, I mean, listen, sometimes I will say because it – I'm going to say this because I truly believe this, right? Because back I grew up in days where I, there was no cell phones, yeah. right? So then you had to write a letter. But I do feel like when you have to like physically handwrite out something, I feel like you might think about it twice yeah. if you decide to just, you know, even if you talk to text and you're texting the whole thing, it's gonna, it might come out the same exact way mm. or even worse. Oh, for sure. And then somebody's reading it totally incorrect. How many text messages have you sent to somebody? And they're like, I didn't mean it like, that <laughs> right and that's a problem sometimes with writing things down or texting people yeah that they they read it and they read it how they want to read it yeah so if they so be careful they think like oh this person's attacking me even more on this and they get very defensive about it so yeah just be easy about it just make read sure it, read it back to yourself yeah. before you send it or Absolutely. read it back to yourself before you give them the letter so Absolutely. it makes sense and watch for your, you know, spelling. Want to communicate. Errors. Don't be defensive if you, you possibly can. You don't <laughs> want to be like that. Come in there with an open mind. Talk to them. Hopefully, they'll do the same and reciprocate, and you guys can have a successful communication and relationship. So, guys, this is just another tip and trick from me and Sharice to you guys. Trust me, we've uh, we've definitely vetted this one out for a long, long time. Uh, you know, it's Poor John. It's working its way to perfection. Poor John. I feel bad for John. And, you know, I know that he loves me. Like, he really, <laughs> truly loves me. This is true. <laughs> Thank this is true. God. God bless. Uh, so, guys, join us every week for Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. on ABC. If you guys didn't watch it live, make sure you DVR it. Or check out YouTube for all the episodes there and all of our other cool content. Make sure you guys are checking out the website, tightmedicalcenter.com. And go follow us and like us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and all the great things in the metaverse that are coming. <laughs> we're going to be there with you guys. All right? We love you. We'll see you next week for Cupid's Corner. And we're out. See ya.